library and this is Brittany again here with another virtual program for you guys. So today we'll be going over um, how to how to grow a garden and get a garden started. So since I'm a beginner gardener as uh, many of you might be, um, I just wanted to do like a vlog or a picture log to try to get, um, get some people in the community interested in um, starting their own gardens and even though we passed the season where most people are out in the field and you know doing a lot of a lot of groundwork you can still get some get some decent decent gardening done even in the cooler months so um if you want to start gardening um out and doing things um, um out of, outside you might want to think about investing and getting seeds like uh, root seeds is far as like radishes and carrots, um, you're going to want to do maybe like cabbage, greens, broccoli, those kind of vegetables do, do fare pretty well in the um, cooler months. So for today, we're just going to start off with something light and I'm going to give you a little bit of a background about why you might want to start a garden and also we're going to um, use flat seeds and I have a baby bok choy, the end of a baby bok choy. And I'm going to show you some ways that we can try to grow plants without soil. So, because everybody might not have access to soil at this moment, so other than the dirt outside. So, we'll go on that. So, what are reasons that you might want to start a garden? Okay, well, for one, it saves you money. So, today, um, Mine is the flax seed. I have the, the end of a bok choy, and I'll just take it out for you. Got some more here. Got some flax seed, and I also soak some overnight. And I have the end of a bok choy. I'll show you guys that I said that it was a scrap. So it's a scrap from a, a bok choy, which is a Chinese cabbage. And um, I, I snip this, and most of your head vegetables like lettuce and anything that has like a, a head to it per se, um, these are vegetables that you can use to um, grow hydroponically. And hydroponic just means that you're growing a vegetable or a plant without soil. You're growing it with water, okay? So we're gonna grow that with hydroponic, using hydroponic, excuse me. <clears throat> and um, I would say that I propagated this this bok choy. So what that means is uh, propagation is a cutting of a plant, or and I actually have a definition here for you: growing new plants from seeds and cutting in, of plant parts. So I cut the end of this bok choy, and this this is the scrap that I had left over. So this will be propagated once I put it in water, and it begins to grow. This, this is propagation. Okay. All right. Another reason why you might want to start a garden is to share um, vegetables and fruits with your community. So if you have an abundance of a of a certain crop, you know that's a good way to to get people in your community fed. So in a sense, it's like giving back or community service. Um, another reason why you might want to start. It's because you can gain a lot of satisfaction from, you know, eating foods that you've invested in. So you've invested the money, you've invested the time, you've invested in the work of seeing a product go from a seed to produce. And as a gardener, or as anybody else, you, you may enjoy it more because you actually had a hand in the process of growing your own food. And you're, you're responsible for your own nutrition. And lastly, I would say uh, the reason to start a garden is it's a desirable survival skill. So, you know, if anything ever happens, which I hope it doesn't, you can always have that skill available to go and, you know, produce your own fruits and vegetables. Maybe. Hopefully, we won't get to that point. Okay. So, Let's see what we have today. Since we have a bok choy, 
Um, we have a water, we have our flax seeds, and you can buy these flax seeds from Kroger for about two bucks if you like flax or chia seeds. And with these, we'll be doing microgreens. We'll be growing microgreens. So, I have two eight inch diameter um, saucers, the plastic saucers that I um, picked up from Lowe's, and they were about I want to say maybe a, a dollar a piece. And I also got this terracotta saucer, which is about 57 cents at Lowe's. So we're going to need some paper towels as well. So we will start with the easier one, which will be the propaganda by choice. So, and since I am a beginner gardener, if anybody has any tips and tricks that they like to leave for us, you can always give us a call at Alexander Library. We much appreciate it. But during this vlog, I'm going to try to keep uh, keep you guys updated at least every week or two with a video. And from week to week, I'll, um, we'll, we'll have pictures available for you to show the progress of what we're growing. And... Um, also, if you guys want to, you know, shout us out on any social media sites such as Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and tag us in your pictures of what you're growing. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have this. This is a six inch saucer. You can have one as big, you just need a saucer for this one. So, I have some filter for. And you can use tap water for this one if you want to. Um, and filter water can just be bottled water. Okay. I'm not going to fill this all the way up. Maybe a little less than halfway full. Just enough to cover the bottom, bottom up the end of the black choy. I'm just going to put that in some water and we're going to sit that near a sunny window and see the growth process. Now once the water starts to get cloudy, you probably want to um, change the water out and give it some fresh water. But um, in about a week or so, we should see some, some growth on this bok choy. And I'll try to keep you guys updated with the picture of that. So, next. We're going to take our saucer, our 8 inch saucer, and we have our paper towels. So, I soak these flax seeds over overnight, and um, they're just like a, about a handful or two of um, flax seeds, and we're going to try to grow microgreens from these. So, um, I, mean, I was doing some research, and I heard that um, if you soak your seeds overnight, they have a, a better chance of, of germinating. And germinating means sprouting, okay? So we're going to add the flax seeds onto the paper towel and some more water. I'm just going to spread that in. I don't know if anybody ever has heard, ever heard of like flax seed gel. They, they can get kind of viscous as they soak, so don't be alarmed by that. I'm just going to try to spread them out a bit. And this is, this is an experiment, okay? I haven't done this before, but hopefully I can get some good results, okay? So I'll be showing you the progress of what's going on with the leaf. Now we're going to spray. Make sure our paper towel is nice and moist. And just making sure you have a, a good amount of, of water because the paper towel is going to act as sort of like a medium for, for these seeds to sprout. Okay. And you can set up a few roots with the paper towel. Okay, so I'm going to take this 
type it. And then I'm taking another paper towel. And cover it. And I really probably want to keep this in a dark place. Keep the lid over it. So you can keep the moisture inside and create, it can create a bit of humidity. You just want to keep it in a dark place so it can begin to and thanks you guys that concludes our our session with Alexander today let us know if you have any questions bye bye